Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing with you my August 23rd paycheck uh, cash envelope stuffing video. Before we get further into the video, I do want to let you guys know if you do watch my cash envelope stuffing video, you may have noticed that I did not do my August 9th payday cash envelope stuffing. That was only because I had my auntie visiting from the Big Island and I didn't have enough time to sit down in front of the camera and film the video and stuff my envelopes all put together i was able to you know take my own personal time and do it off camera and you know sometimes life just happens so making sure that you're still on the right track is a great thing so that's why i definitely plan out my cash envelopes in this video i will be doing a brief overview of what i calculated and planned out for the month and i will be carrying out with the um, amounts for each category I have so let's go ahead and get right on into it so if you have watched my cash envelope videos it's no surprise that I get paid bi-weekly so that's at least two times a month usually it's in the beginning and in the end of the month for my bills or any expenses I will definitely account for everything and just split it right down the middle with that being said, I do have a few categories for here and there that I can't just split it down the middle because usually in the beginning of the month, I have this fun thing called eating out and entertainment. These two categories is um, what I use when me and my boyfriend go out. We do take turns, you know, paying for the food that we're eating or whatever activity we're doing. So for these two categories, that's $80 combine so as you see here my beauty I went ahead and instead of splitting it right down the middle 15 15 I did ten dollars and twenty dollars there are a few categories on the cash envelope page that I have had to you know make minor adjustments so that I can accommodate for the extra forty dollars you know instead of just doing forty and forty I'm accommodating so that I can at least have that eating out an entertainment envelope full for that month. I mean, I guess I could split it right down the middle, but I I noticed that this just makes a little bit more sense for me and my boyfriend. These categories up here, this is my everyday cash envelope. So groceries, eating out and entertainment, fun, beauty, and gas. Groceries is 50, fun is 60, beauty is going to get 20. And gas is going to get 30 nothing is going into these two envelopes moving down into my fixed expenses my yard cell phone car payment yard always gets $30 cell phone gets 48 car payment is going to get $450 this is more than my actual car payment for the month but as you know I am trying to pay off my car you know before I'm gonna try and pay off my car within the next two years. This may change depending on my research on if it is a smart move to pay off my car. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and write that down below. What do you think? What have you done in the past? But I really wanna pay off my car payment so I can start saving for other things. So, But I'm still on the fence about it. So because I am on the fence, I'm still going to save $450 I do not want to get off track at all the next category is actually my sinking funds when I made this sticker right here I had a typo this is supposed to say uh, sinking funds so just so you are aware birthdays occasions because I did not save for those categories on my first paycheck they're just straight off the bat gonna get $20 each Christmas is going to get $45. My car is going to get $10. This is just for maintenance. And my laptop savings is $50. On this side of the page, if you did see, it's a checking account tracker that I like to use. I like to visualize how much money I should be saving in my checking account when I am getting paid. So phone, internet, association, car insurance, and iCloud. I have the amounts written here. I have my two pay periods. And this is how I keep track of how much money should be in my account on this day. So once I deduct my cash envelope savings, once I transfer my money to my vacation fund and my savings account, this amount should be in my account. 
after the ninth. Okay? So that's just something I really wanted to share with you guys. Now that I showed you a overview of my cash envelope spread in my bullet journal, let's go ahead and just start stuffing the cash envelopes. So on the top I have my everyday cash envelopes. They are completely empty except for my beauty, fun. I still have money in there. I just roll the money over. So food is going to get $50. And then at the end of the video, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I do have my little tracker sheets that I use to keep accountability for what I'm spending my money on. The next category is going to be fun. That is also going to get $60. Whoopsies. See, doing this is so hard sometimes. So if you have a better method, let me know. Definitely, I need it. But $60. Next is beauty. Like I mentioned, this is going to be getting $20 this pay period. So I'm going to do two tens. And gas. So gas is going to be $30. And very exciting news. I did have to put gas in my car on Monday. I spent $23, so I saved $10.75. I was only able to do that because me and my boyfriend, we bought our Disneyland tickets for uh, when we go to the mainland. We bought it from Safeway, and Safeway has this awesome gas program where you buy gift cards um, and you purchase food, and they give you gas rewards. So for the gift cards, the three-day park hopper pass was $355. So we got, how much did we get? We got seven rewards each. So that was an amazing, amazing deal. Because we did it on my account, I had 14 rewards in all. So you can use up to 10 rewards, so that's a dollar off. And then my boyfriend is gonna use the rest. But I paid $23 and I saved $10.75, which is awesome. Definitely, definitely, if you guys do not have your Safeway or I don't know. If you have Safeway, I would definitely recommend signing up for their rewards program. Next is going to be yard money. So this is going to get 30. In this envelope, I have $30 in there. Next is my phone bill. So that's going to get 20, 40, 45. And 46, 47, 48. So we are all set to go for September's phone bill. I'll give that money to my mom when the time comes around. Moving my cash over. Uh, next is my new car. That's going to get $450. So 450 And this is always due at the end of the month. So at least I have that all taken care of and it's the 23rd so that makes me feel a whole lot better that I already have that money set aside. Back this way now. Um, next is birthdays in general. Um, this has $90 and we're adding an additional $20. So 20 and then occasions always mirrors my birthday general fund, $90 as well, and adding 20 more. We're getting down to the wire here. So for Christmas, this is going to be getting $45. So 40, oops, 40 and five. I'm gonna have to go ahead and take this to the bank today and put this in my savings account. You see, I could have used the money from here to do my cash envelope stuffing video, but I wasn't too sure. So next time I will definitely check this envelope. Second to the last envelope is my car maintenance. 
This is just going to get $10. Currently, I have $75. So now that's $85. And my last envelope is my laptop envelope. This is going to take me so long to save for. But it's okay. Now I have $50 made available. And guys, that is it. That is everything I have for today. Beside doing the cash envelope stuffing, I will be transferring my money to their appropriate accounts. So for my vacation and also for my savings. If you guys have any comments or questions on what I do, please go ahead and leave them down below. I will be sure to get back to you. I will see you guys in my next video. And you guys have a great rest of your week or day or whenever you're watching this. Bye guys.